¿Sois de aquí? Más o menos. Okay. Porque dice que las majestades pasaron por aquí o... Sí, sí. Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks with another walk around a small town here in Spain tour. We're going to have a look around this town today, which is called Brea de Tajo in the Madrid community. So uh, let's go and have a look around this small town. And when I say small, believe me, it's small. Let's go. So, as I said, we're in a small town, around 600 people, I believe called Brea de Tajo in the Madrid community. And as we can see there, the Calle Mayor, the main street, and we've got some of the old buildings in this town, some of the old houses, because let's be honest, this is another town that has seen better days, unfortunately. And uh, statistically, this is one of the poorest towns in the Madrid community typical curtains on the doors there that we have seen in this part of Spain and a bar on the corner here that has seen better days, Bar Los Escudos. So let's go for a walk down the main strip, the Calle Mayor, the main street, and let's see what we can find in this town. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm not expecting to see a lot. Let's have a look at this bar. In fact, it might be still open, I'm not sure. So, as I said, this is one of the poorer towns in the Madrid community, a town that has seen better days. We'll see some businesses that have closed down. There's a butcher shop there that seems to have closed down also. Maybe it's because they didn't allow dogs inside, don't know, but uh, has seen better days. The main street, people living on the main street, some houses look to be still okay and some have seen better days like the ones that we saw there at the uh, top of the street before we came down so let's keep on going now i can see three people and uh, three people in a town like this is a percentage of the population now interestingly enough one of the problems with these towns here is that there just isn't enough businesses or services here. Place on the corner here for sale. Not sure what that would go for. There's a supermarket up this street there. So we'll head up there in a minute and we'll see if we can find some life, any bars, restaurants that might be open. Here's a bar that's shut down, another one that's shut down. Actually, we might go up here and see if there's anything up here, this little side street that'll take us up the top here. Not too many people around, I will say. Let's see what we've got around here. No, nothing. Plata de la Solana. We'll go up here. Even though we're going away from the main part of the town, heading up the hill. But we'll get an idea of some of the lands that surround this town. Over here, another house that has been abandoned, I think. Not sure. Padlock on the door. All right, let's get up the top. And we'll have a look at the lands around this town because this is farming country, fertile lands. We'll see what we can see. All right, so. On the outskirts of the town here, there's an image of a bull over there. And up here we have the Plata de Toros, Brea de Tajo. And we have the Mirador del Sur, which is some type of lookout. Now, we'll go and check it out. We'll also check out the bull ring. Looks to be a fairly small bull ring as we can see there plata de todos brea de tajo and we've got a sign here which says that this was opened in 2018 oh no a an area here for motorhomes okay so this is a motorhome area that was set up in 2018 why? I've got no idea. 
but obviously you can come and park your motor home here and you probably got access to some type of electricity here and there's different bays no motor homes at the moment so I'm not sure when people would come in here because this town is off the beaten track but let's go and have a look at the Mirador what do we got over here let's go and see Rincón para la Igualdad Corner for Equality and again in this municipality we respect everybody as equal and uh, we say no to domestic violence or any type of violence and together we are strong so this message also here in this small town the say no to domestic violence message and the equality message also so here's a view of what surrounds this town as you can see here farming lands down there in the valley a bit foggy today so we're not going to get the best view so sorry about that but uh, i can't control the weather yet now this is where the bulls i imagine are kept i'm gonna put the camera up and see if we can get some type of uh, view of what's going on in here just let me uh, organize the tripod here one minute so i'll lift this up and see if we can get a view of what's in the side here so i imagine even though i can't see but i imagine that this is somewhere that the, the bulls are kept before they're taken out into the ring where one of two things will happen as we know and the two things will either be that the bull meets its demise at the hands of the bullfighter or the other way around and uh, sometimes it does happen but most likely the bull meets its demise unfortunately but hey that's bullfighting and even in a small town like this they've got a bullfighting ring okay let's continue you won't walk down there but we can see a, a kiddies park and different places where you can sit outside maybe play some cards or whatever but uh, yeah I'm surprised by this that there is a place for motorhomes in this town okay so let's go back down to the center of this small town and let's see if we can find some life check out what the businesses are like down there if there are any at all let's go but before we go back i'll just see if i can get a view inside this bullfighting ring here there we go what can we see i don't know because i'm holding the camera up as high as i can so you guys can get a view of the bull ring here in brea de tajo all right so we can see here that if you come here with a motorhome uh, to use this area you need to ask for the keys in the bars that are in town so either in the bar ropero or the bar plaza is where you can get keys to uh, set up your motorhome here for uh, a short stay should you be traveling through spain I'm not sure if it's free but it could come in handy for users of motorhomes which let's be honest have become more and more popular since the pandemic in 2020 2021 or at least i have that perception now let's continue down here now we're not going to see too many historical buildings here got somebody up there doing some work cleaning the weeds because these towns lack historical value and that is why they are off the beaten track and not many people come here we are around 50 minutes from madrid city and uh, i reckon that if i asked people in madrid if they had heard of this town uh, the majority would say no way ho say i've never heard of this town so back down into the main square okay we have got some type of historical building here uh, museo Oleico. so this is obviously where they were making oil back in the day in this museum 
And there are some other things to see here. Apparently, there's the Plaza del Generalissimo and Plaza de la Iglesia. Plaza of the Generalissimo. Back in the day, that's what Franco was called. But I imagine that it's changed the name because here in Spain with the uh, historical memory law, you can't have those old fascist names anymore. Calle Calvo Sotelo, he was a, a former president here in Spain, president of the government or prime minister, if you like, during the transition times. And let's have a look. We've got another bar down there, Barro Pero. And that's what we saw before, that if you want to get the keys to the motorhome area, you have to come to this bar here, Bar Ropero, and ask for the keys. Now they've got signs up of what they charge for things here. Pharmacy, so the pharmacy's still going. And the Bar Ropero, we'll just walk past and see what type of food they're serving. Probably typical Madrid food, I would say. Chickens, ribs, other roasts and different things there. So the typical types of food that you would see in this part of Spain. Now we'll get a view from up here, see what's going on. Over there we have the Punto de Encuentro Juvenil. That's where young people can gather and do young people things. We'll go back into the main square. And as I said, it had the name Plaza del Generalissimo, or Generalissimo, which goes back to those Franco days. But I don't think it would be still called that now. Calle Guadalajara. And uh, we can see up there that there's a Spanish... We can see up there angry cats. Lucky to survive that cat, I'll say. We'll cross over here. And then we've got the other bar that has the keys to the motorhome area, Bar, bar Plaza, and Buddha Bar up here, which is probably a, some type of a nightclub or night bar. Calle Cervantes. Now come back to the main square which is not called Generalissimo. It's called Plaza de Felipe something. So they've changed the name, I would say. But we can see here that we've got rural accommodation, Spanish flag up there, dead end street. And here's the Buddha bar, which as I suspected, opens at night. More Spanish symbolism down here. Some type of uh, bin with the Spanish colors, the colors of the flag. Okay. What do we got down here? Peña La Mina. So obviously there was something going on down there back in the day. Yeah, so a very quiet little town, I will say. What have we got going on up here? Anything? Nah, not a lot. So I'll turn around and we'll go back to the main square. Because I saw a Spanish flag and it said something about the, the king and queen. So maybe they visited here, I'm not sure. Maybe I can ask somebody if the royal family or the monarchs of Spain passed through here in recent times. I don't know. Let's continue. Again, uh, a building here that's seen better days. No doubt abandoned. And it is a characteristic of these small towns because it is so cheap to live here that you get a lot of people that come from places like Madrid that can't afford to live in the capital city anymore and they find accommodation in these towns. 
probably at half the price. You are a little bit out of the way and there's not a lot of things to do here. But of course, if you're desperately looking for accommodation, that is what you would need to do. Little doggy, ¿qué te pasa? Eh? ¿Qué te pasa? Not interested? Well trained, I'll tell you that. So here we've got the, the town hall. Interestingly enough, we've got an electric charging point here. And you can see that some of the services here, for example, uh, a bus library or a library bus comes here every now and again. You can charge your electric car. I don't think anybody here would have an electric car, but you can charge it if you did. And we've also got the sign of a bank. And apparently what happens here, even though there is a, an ATM, you can see there where it says there, Offi Bus Keisha Bank. And apparently what happens is that every week or every couple of weeks, let's check out how often it comes through. So we can see that here. So every now and again, this Offi Bus from Keisha Bank comes through this town because there aren't any other banking services here. So they have to get like a, they have to get like a, uh, a portable bank bus coming through. And this is the town hall building. And you can see there, Gracias Majestades Viva España. Interesting. So as I said, not sure whether the king and queen came through. Soy este aquí. Más o menos. Sí. Porque dice que las majestades pasaron por aquí o... Sí, sí. ¿Sí? ¿Hace cuánto? Hace ya los años, los años. Dos años. Ah, vale. Si había ceremonia y todo eso, ¿no? Sí, ha inaugurado un centro de... de, 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 de una cocina de Caritas para ah, muy bien. personas mayores. Ah, sí, muy bien. Muy bien. Vale, vale. En su tiempo, bien. Hace dos años así, Minero. Muy bien. Muchas bueno, gracias. Bien. Hasta luego. So there we go, we heard that the king and queen came through. They inaugurated uh, uh, an elderly residence. There's the tobacco shop, ubiquitous in Spanish towns. No town is complete without a tobacco shop, as we know. And here comes a couple of buses. And that would be the easiest way, I think, to get in and out of this town. The 351 from Madrid and the 350 which will take you to the nearest hospital which is in Arganda, Arganda del Rey which is about 50 kilometers away from here, give or take a few k's. A couple of locals outside and heading back to the car now. And another abandoned building here. Again, I don't know how long these places have been abandoned for, but a lot of buildings in this town and other towns in this area, as we know, have seen better days. So I'm gonna wrap this small town video up from Brea de Tajo in the Madrid community. I'm gonna head across the border into Guadalajara now and film from a similar town, but of course in a different autonomous community. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. Debate the video out as you normally do. If you have a motorhome and are looking for a place to park your motorhome while driving around Spain, this could be a town for you. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego. So the buses obviously come into this town and then turn around and go straight back out.